Hi again. My goodness. I sent you out a video. You're practicing and you already have a question. Okay, so the question is from Allison. After we've come after we've come around. Here and we're at the corner. Where do you where do you open the foot? Where are we going to open the foot? Where, 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 where? We're going to stay in the same, in the same, you can see my feet, in the same uh, orientation. So we've opened out here. So I'm not turning all the way here. Does that does that make sense, Allison? Let's try it from different uh, different places. So you're still going to have when you open out. The right foot will be will be more turned out. The left toe will be going forward, but you're in your horse. So you're like, you're not with both feet even like this. Is that making any sense? That making any sense you want to be comfortable you want to be able to to move the pelvis and then the italian salute yes wanted to mention something about that as well when i watched the video i think i saw myself do this you see the problem with this i'm trapped so again, there's the armpit, the twisting fist is here. I used to think of lifting a cast iron skillet. They're very, very heavy. If you lift a cast iron skillet, you're not going to lift it out here. You lift it here. Now you watch videos of Fong doing this uh, this move there's many many of them on youtube and he just comes up and he comes down and it's also free and, and these are lovely videos to watch f-e-n-g 24 youtube um fong 24 youtube there's a video of fong with his two daughters um behind him and they're there you can see how each of them is individually very different in their style but you can see clearly the, the direction of the shoulders, the pelvis, where they open the feet, and how, and just how easy, just how easy and free uh, <clears throat> they're moving. So let's see. Um, hmm. Well, I hadn't hadn't thought of doing a video, but what the hell? We're we're since we're let's roll with it. We got to the end of the first move, did we not? Did we not? We got to the end of the first move. So did you find any help from my earlier video holding the fist, holding the fist and pulling and holding the head back? Something uh, I realized about that, that lesson which I promise I will I will teach the lessons somehow and uh, and post it for you to do the whole thing. But maybe we'll just approach it in, in pieces. Hanging the head back brings the cervical spine into the curve that allows for the shoulders to rest in a neutral place 
on top of the ribs. Um, see if I can verbalize this. If you look at Feng or any really good Tai Chi practitioner, you will see they have shoulders that hang like coat hangers. And the chest is sunk and relaxed and the head might be a little, what looks like a little forward, but it's, it's not really in relationship to everything else. It's, the head is resting. So something about this exercise, this, this exploration, of hanging the head back as you pull your arm. Can you feel what's happening in your shoulders, your chest, and your spine with your head hanging back? As a matter of fact, why don't you go down onto one knee? Go down onto one knee. Grab your fist, hang your head back. And just, just lengthen the arm up without lifting the back, without engaging the back. You're pulling up the skeleton. So you're right over your hip joint. Change arms. If you lose balance, it's because something in your breathing, your belly, your abdomen, softness in the legs, Something is, is, is firing that doesn't need to fire. Take the same arm as like, and then rest your arms because it's very tiring at first and change your knees. It's the same arm as me that you're standing on. Just breathe and pull the arm the direction is up. Breathe and relax and find your balance which is different than trying not, don't try to not lose your balance. Do you, do you understand the difference? Trying to not lose your balance is different than discovering what you do to interfere with your balance, which means that you need to be willing to fall over. You need to be willing to fail falling over is that failing I was just falling over so that you fall over better and better and softer and softer and more organized each time so if you can pull the other arm you can pull the other arm and you find a quiet quiet place in your skeleton a quiet place in your skeleton so that something about this organization has something to do with this organization, which is different than this organization. Right? It's even a different personality. You know, the shoulders go broad across, the chest is lifted, the energy is more up. It has to do with the head 
and the thoracic spine, the pelvis, of course. So what if you start from here? Some of you may already be starting from there. It's almost impossible to let your shoulders lift up when when you're hanging. If you want your center of gravity to go high, you lift the shoulders, but then you're very unstable which is not something we're trying to be in Tai Chi. If you can still widen the chest without, right? It's just something to play with. You go on your leg differently. Take a few circles. the corner. Still to the corner. Still to the corner. Twist in front, relax, one, two, up, and boom, left, weight is on the left leg, left leg, check, take your right hand, grab it. Lift until you feel your right heel and the knee bend. So did you have to make a big adjustment? Or were you already pretty much on your hip? Pretty much on your hip. Is that a different place for you to be on your leg? 
after pulling your right arm. Like the pelvis relaxes and turns, the leg empties. It's literally the leg is emptying out. And then Okay, so Allison, I hope that answered your question. Where does the leg go? Which direction are you facing when you open the leg? You're still here. And then you turn and you come back. You're still there. Then now you're facing forward. Boom. One. How high? Your own eye. One. Block. Forward and down. Forward, forward and down. This arm can help you sink. This arm can help you sink, sink, sink. And then expand, expand, expand. Okay. Thanks, Allison, for the question.